Mike Riley on with us now. Mike, are you there? I I am here. How are we doing? Yeah, we're doing well, well. Michael and I are doing just fine. You might want to ask our women how they're doing. They're probably having a bit of a tougher time than we are. <laughs> I know you four. You're the you're the fearsome force in this morning. I love you guys just pumping it out and. But you know what I love best is the pain on their faces. How come? How come that is? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they must be. That's they must be working pretty hard. I think we were giving a, we were giving the game face award to Jeannie Seymour and the pain face award to Angela Nath so far. Uh, watching some of the facial expressions on them today has been a lot of fun. Yeah, but we only see their pain when they're like climbing. When I'm on the bike like that, it's from beginning to end. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's true, Mike. I remember that from our promo video a while back. You did look like you were suffering. So, <laughs> so, so, Mike, I just have to say, because every time I hear your voice, it makes me happy. And some folks came across, you probably didn't see all the comments, but we had two or three people saying, uh, shouting out to you, saying, I just did my my, my ride, Mike. Someone just came through and said, hey, is Mike going to be at the finish line for these folks? But it's great to have you here. Uh, and it's it's just always awesome to hear your voice. Well, thank you, Michael. I, I appreciate it. And and all the comments of people that say that to me, I, I, it's, it's daunting sometimes. But I guess, uh, you know, after the voice has been around for so many years and people have heard it at their happiest place on earth, an Ironman finish line, the association is just there. So, I, I, you know, if there's anything I can say to anybody out there is, you know, we don't know where our finish line is right now. But there is a finish line out there, and we're all going to get there together. So we've got to stay strong. We're endurance athletes. This is not a sprint. And you know what? Adversity ends up introducing you to yourself. You find out who you really are. So, uh, And these four athletes on the bike that, you know, I've had the pleasure of calling each and every one of them into a Ironman finish line somewhere in the world. And that, that's an honor for me. So keep it up, ladies. You guys are kicking ass. That's right. Uh, as we go, there's some other stuff, and, and you've been watching this, I think, and contributing to this as well as our our social uh, social media draw-in where we're able to bring in some cool content. Everyone's using that hashtag, anywhere is possible. Um, and as I as I mentioned that, anywhere is possible. I also want to mention VR, Ironman VR1, so that's a great hashtag. But have you seen some interesting stuff out there, Mike? I've seen some things and creativity of people working out whether it's in their basement or in their backyard or in their bathtub, whatever it may be. Uh, and I, I love that because, you know, humor at this time is tough. And there's not a lot of humor. But Iron Man in the cave, I, I, you know, you start seeing people creating their own pain cave, as you can see right there. This, this is fantastic. I mean, Dad's really getting down there in the squat, but the water bottle, at least the water bottle's full. Way to go, big guy. I love that. <laughs> I wonder how many they ended up doing. That is so good right there. That's cute. That's cute. Oh, now, don't we all wish we had this? Michael and Didi, my goodness, that's that's not a bad backyard view. I think that's in France. Yeah. And That, uh, that, looks, that looks nothing like my pain cave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine either. And this is a tat. Now, the only way that tattoo works, you guys, is that calf. Look at that calf. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is like, this reminds me of my grandson because he's always shooting things around with the Star Wars guns and things like that. Look at this. Mommy, how come you're still working out? I'm going to spray you with some water. <laughs> now, this is a packed up pain cave right there. That's, that's, that's packed up. He probably doesn't let the kids into that. <laughs> Yeah, that looks a little bit more like mine. <laughs> and Dad, how come we're not going outside and we're running on our balcony? I mean, that's that, that, that's what you have to do. Yeah, it is. Uh, that, is that the guy that ran the marathon on his balcony? That was something that's else, right. huh? That's right. Now, this is, you talk about multitasking like we all have to do. And, and I, I kept man. watching this, and I'm thinking, I'll bet you he really is ironing while he's on the treadmill. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a uh, true it's Iron Man. See, it's great to see that everyone's sense of humor is still well intact in this tough time. And, and we've all got a laugh. And that's, you know, the laughter is helping us heal. And, and I think that's great. It is. It, 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 it is a big part of healing. And there's not a lot to laugh about right now. But we can laugh about our own worlds and the things we do and create. Uh, it, it, it'll, it'll keep us happy. It'll keep us sane. Yeah, it will. And as a, Jocelyn McCauley is helping us laugh with all of her riddles that she's got coming up. Uh, so we I appreciate know, I love that. that. 
Very creative, Jocelyn. I, I love that. I can't wait for the next one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, interviewing hey, Jocelyn at the finish line, you guys, I mean, that, when you, her smile is always a mile wide. Her attitude is fantastic. And that goes in line with her putting the, the, the jokes up there. That's very cute. Hey, Mike, we have a, we've got multiple sources chiming in from around the world. Our crew was first to mention it, but we've heard, we've heard it before. Is today a special day like uh, your birthday or anything like that? <laughs> hey, happy birthday, Mike. You can't hide from Yeah, much. thank you. It, 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 it's a happy day. It, part of it's a sad day for me because I would have been working <laughs> Ironman 70.3 Oceanside uh, right here in San Diego County. And when I woke up this morning, I woke up very early and drove to my daughter's house about 30 minutes away because my grandson had a, a, a gift for me in his mailbox, and I drove back home. And I almost wanted to drive to Oceanside just to stand at the water and, and look out at the ocean. So uh, to all of you that were racing Oceanside, we're going to get that in this year sometime, and uh, I can't wait to be there with you. Well, there you go, Mike. As always, uh, you make it about the others, and that's the signature style, the voice of Iron Man, uh, not, not taking the, the compliments from us and the happy, the congrats. But it's great to have yeah. you. You're awesome. Always good to hear from you. Always good to have you part of our shows. And uh, Didi, what are you seeing over here on the other side? Sneaking yeah, I'm on. seeing, I was going to say, we're, we're, we're coming up on, we're in that rolling section of the course, right, Michael, along 95th? Yeah, as we, hey, Mike, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again soon. Uh, thanks again, and, and you enjoy the rest of your day. Well, I got to give it to them because they've been asking, Michael. You are a virtual racer. Keep it up, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Thanks, Mike. Happy birthday, Mike. <laughs>